Alrighty. Well, hey, it's a beautiful day out here. And it's way, way too nice to be cooped up inside. We're uh, high 60s, clear skies, just beautiful day. Got the birds singing. And I need to get my happy butt outside because I can't deal with living in a box. Back in my day, I was one heck of an outdoorsman. Used to spend more nights outside than I did inside year round. I was even up in Montana with the Montana winters. Now, I can walk, I just can't walk as far. So I use a quantum power wheelchair. This, this beastie here, even got a mirror. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we are. Hey folks. So I use this to extend my range and to get around. Flat out, she rolls about 5.5 miles an hour. And I've got a good uh, two, three mile range on it. So today, today's Sunday, I just want to get out and cruise around. What I really wish is for someone to cruise with What's difficult with uh, this situation is I'm I'm not fully I'm not fully disabled running around in a wheelchair like like uh, a good friend of mine who I live with um, and even if I had someone to to walk with I can't walk real well and it's difficult to walk alongside this thing but it's got enough. It's got enough space. Could take her for a ride. She doesn't mind sitting on my lap. You're gonna get weird about it. Just, just go for a ride. So let's go for a ride. We're going on the Slick Rock Trail bike path here. This section through here is really, really pretty in the in the summertime because all these trees are all bloomed up and it's a nice little green corridor. Like going through a, a green leaf tunnel. And happily the bark dog isn't isn't out. They got a little yappy ankle biter dog that comes out and bark, 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 bark. Dog's more annoying than listen to me talk, so <laughs> I love, I like this, this stacked retaining wall. I used to build those. One of the most fun ones I did was actually in a lake, in Whitefish Lake up in Montana. Guy's dock kept slipping into the, kept slipping in and the bank was starting to cave in. So he, he hired my, uh, my employer guy I just, knew and he did a bunch of weirdo handyman stuff so he hired me as his laborer and stuck me out in the lake for a couple of days in the middle of the summer gee that was not fun yeah right i loved it out there stacking rocks in the in the lake about chest deep water i'm six i'm six two so hey how's it going brother I'm six foot two, so we were uh, about four foot of water. Got some other folks out here enjoying the enjoying the beautiful day. And I go up here, and I'm not sure if I'm going to turn around or go down by the river. I think I want to go down by the river, so I'm going to stop here, and uh, we'll pick you all up on the other side. All right, we got through that intersection and got over here. Down here is the new park they're building. Not sure I can get through that way, so I'm gonna go around this way.
So yeah, they do have sidewalk open all the way down from the park to the uh, to the trailhead, which is good. But I still kind of like coming around on the road better because the expansion joints and the concrete on this Quantum are get a little gets a little jarring. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk. Any, vo any volleyball players? All right. Okay, and we're down here by the river. This is where we did the, uh, don't ditch a fish. You now we got people walking down here, so I'm gonna hold up here, and uh, so I'm gonna go down there, there's some nice stuff to video, but I don't wanna bother anybody, so we'll wait and let them get on ahead, pick you up in a minute. All right, they're moving on down, down, moving on down the line. They're not moving real fast, but that's cool. They got kids with them, and so we'll just go ahead and head on out. Nice pavilion, and I wouldn't mind having one of those, something like that, on a piece of property. Wall it in, put some plumbing in there, make a little haggard hut out of it. But... It's gonna be nice once they get all this landscaping down. I'm wondering what they're gonna put in down here. This would be cool. These apartments over here, those are new last few years. They've got a really nice view out here over right the, right the river bottom. pick you up on the other side when there's a little more to look at. This is kind of blah through here. All right, we just lapped the family out here taking a walk with our hound. So now we've got a little bit more to look at. See the river right down here. You see out there in the distance. I was going to show up because I can't really see on my screen real well right now. I got a lot of glare. That's the uh, new Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, Great Cliffs Temple that they just finished building. We're in an open house on it right now, so the general public can go out there and take a look and see the building. Oh, we got more people coming at us. And uh, so I'll pause it again. There we go, see if we can do this. Did, did a little bit of selfie going on. Beautiful day, got the sun on my face, got the wind in my beard. Just cruise along, enjoying life. It's a nice day. All right, so we're cruising along down here. This, this area is called Dinosaur Park, or Dinosaur Crossing, because there, there was a farmer uh, owned this area down here and found a bunch of dinosaur tracks. There's this river. Uh, was a big old mud flat at one point in time. And a bunch of dinosaurs were tracking around and left their footy prints. So they made kind of, they, they left them in place and built a building over top of it. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, And off on the other side is a uh, real nice, real nice nature area. We get, uh, if you come through here and you're being quiet and observant, yeah, kind of 
come down through here and be quiet and observant. There's foxes and all kinds of wildlife cruising around down here. Here's a bunch more of that uh, the igneous volcanic rock that you see. We got traffic going over on top of us. Just past some more local wildlife. There we go. Tracks. People have been driving out of here, not supposed to, but that hill up there that's called Foremaster Ridge. Foremaster, uh, there's a, a road that goes up and over it. When the settlers first came into the area down here, oh, we got a uh, big old crack to go over. When the settlers first came in the area down here, that was the route they took coming from this side over into the main valley where, where they settled. And it's named, I don't know why, but it's called Four Master Ridge. Actually got some water running down here. Here's a good view. I'm going to crank around here so y'all can see. We got some snow up on the mountain up there. There we go. Yeah, we don't get a lot of snow out here, but got a little bit this year. All right, so we're I'm leapfrogging people here, and they're getting kind of irritated with me, so I'll just let him walk his dog and be on his way. Right here, right through here, we've got uh, some irrigation, an irrigation ditch. And off there, let's see if we can zoom and do this. There we go. There is the uh, uh, the LDS Red Cliffs uh, Temple. The Mormon temples are really interesting. That's uh, a place that we do uh, sacred ceremonies. There's, they're not open to the public, and even even just not everybody members of the church can go in. You've got to uh, pass a uh, just a, a basic standard of, of worthiness to get what's called a recommend. Just basically, a, I hate to say the word license, but basically, yeah, just permission to go in and do it. There's nothing secret that goes on in there. It's sacred. And uh, it's just like your normal worship service is just a little more intense. And it's, it's all good. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So up here we've got uh, that's all that's all rich people fell up there and over here that these ridges and stuff through here are really pretty and uh, got more people walking by here so I'm gonna zoom out alrighty we can get back underway now I've come down far enough. I think I've got enough battery. There's a, a trailhead up above that goes up uh, here in St. George. It's called Mall Drive. It goes from down here by the river up, up to the mall. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, bike path, bike path, a walking path. But I'm not so sure I've got enough, uh, enough battery to run it. And there's a lot of areas up there where you just don't have uh, enough infrastructure for to get through on a power chair like this. I've gotten stuck up there in the sand, and it's just not not a great situation. So we'll pass on that. Got some more folks walking by here, so we'll just shoot over here. Hey, y'all, have a great day. Okay, let them get on by. Another crack. Got some cottonwood down here. It looks dead, but it's alive. They bloom up real pretty in the in the spring and summer. All this down through here, this is all just real real pretty in the spring and summer. Keep slipping around, thinking I'm gonna drop the phone. 
I got a new uh, phone mount. I should. Oh, we got more people coming. So, all right, we'll pick you up on the other side. All right, past a couple groups of folks. Got a little bit of a uh, little bit of shade, so I can actually see my battery meter. Hey, we're doing good. I got all kinds of battery left. Can roll for a lot longer, but no, nah, I'm not gonna. It's getting getting on to dinner time, and Tommy's getting hungry. That bluff over there, I have no idea what it's called, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that in the background of a lot of my shots. All right, we'll just keep on cruising. Up here in the, dino in the Dinosaur Crossing, uh, shopping center there's a uh, bunch of restaurants and my local grocery store I go to I should cruise in and pick up some more groceries while I'm down here but uh, it's it's Sunday and I don't want to I don't like going to the store on the Sabbath so there we go you can see all this a little bit better out here When you're shooting video is a little bit different than when you're hanging out with with somebody person to person. There's a lot of times when we're shooting video, we feel like we just got to talk and narrate and yap, yap, yap. But when you're spending time with someone, a lot of times the most, the, the, the deepest and most connecting conversations you can have are silent. Just sitting there vibing with each other and just enjoying proximity and just being around each other just enjoying each other's company max wife couldn't figure that one out but we don't speak the same love languages so eh, it is what it is i wish her the best got more wildlife coming up here go try not to drop the phone here got a uh wild oh more wild bicycles there we go this couple here is uh, a prime example of what i wish to find in a companion they're out here just cruising the bike path just together not not worrying about much, just out spending time together, having a grand old time. He's going for buying. And uh, she's taking a easier way up here, so we're gonna just cruise on by and Oh yeah, there we go. We've got a good view coming up here. Gonna come around a the corner. There's that bluff. And then looking up past that, we've got the we've got Cedar Mountain to the north. And over here, man, back home in Montana, I knew all the mountains, all the ranges, what they were called. Around here, I just I don't know. I just just haven't really get in, gotten get into it a whole lot. I don't vibe with the desert like I do up, up in the woods. But I can still appreciate the beauty of the area. And uh, seeing snow up on a mountain up there, that reminds me of home. Got more wildlife coming by. There we go. Wild bikers cruising on by. They 
Bikers usually travel in herds. This time we got a uh, rogue pair out on their own. Let's cruise up through here. And one of the things I love doing, they just find an old back road and just say, hey, where's that go? Point the truck down it and see where it goes. Well, this is kind of a lot like that. Oh, hey, there we are. Hello. Oh, this is going to get a little interesting. Let's see if I can... Ooh, uh... Yeah, that's not happening. Well, I can pick it up on the other side. Let's see if I can do this. This is going to be interesting. You know what? I'm going to film this because this is going to be interesting for people to see what it's like for disabled folks uh, who got to use, who rely on, on mobility devices and such. To, ah, there we go. Okay, managed to get through. And you can see better there what we, what we just ran over. Hello, how you folks doing? All right. Well, that's good to know. That's not necessarily passable. So I won't come that way again. But we got through it okay. Oh, there's a herd of, a small herd of wild bicyclists. I gotta start carrying my phone mount as a as a way to, to hold this better. There we go. I got a mount on the here on the chair, it's just not the mount itself broke, so there we go. He's got his generator going, so he's probably probably camped out in the sleeper. He's, uh, I always see him down here a lot. Usually he's driving a, uh, uh, a cattle, usually a cattle hauler. Right now he's got a flatbed on, but he's running uh, North Dakota license plates. So he's a little long way from home. And uh, about as far from home as I am up in Northwest Montana. I miss it dearly. I've been gone uh, 20 years this year. All right, this intersection takes forever for the stoplight and it gets noisy. So I'm just gonna pull up here, hit the walk and uh, hit the pause. There we go. Okay, we got gonna cross the live. And I should have kept this thing recording because uh, the light changed real quick. So I didn't have to wait too long went to go and a Mercedes decided he was gonna turn while I was in the crosswalk and about smeared me. Uh, used to that around here. These are some of the worst drivers I've ever been around. A little bit noisy, so. Keep on cruising.
Got a little sandbags. Because when it rains here, it doesn't just rain. It's like a dump valve on the bottom of a lake and it comes down in, in buckets. And then the ground is so dry and so hard from getting baked and so little rain that it all just runs off. It's like falling on a, like, hose down a parking lot and all runs out. <laughs> so a lot of people put the, put the sandbags out, keep from flooding their yards. That ridge up, that ridge up ahead. There's my finger there. Off that ridge up ahead over there. That's that's uh, Four Master Ridge. We're coming back up into into my part of town where I live. A bunch of cacti. That's a prickly pear, and I don't know what the other one is, but there we go. I see that mountain up there really good over here it's a good spot to get pictures of it but there's so many power lines in the way that's like the bane of a photographer's existence is all the power lines all right i'm gonna try to switch here there we go right-handed and I'm trying to hold the phone up with my left hand I got a cyst on my spinal cord that's uh, causing me a lot of weakness on the left hand side so holding the phone's getting to be difficult uh, so I can't hold I can't hold film and drive at the same time so I'm gonna shut it off here let me quit my yapping and uh, if you're still watching thanks for coming thanks for coming for the ride and uh, we'll do it. We'll do a better one later on. Y'all have a good day.